Good morning everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas. I have approximately 45 minutes to go and smash out a grocery run. I need to go and just get some bits and bobs to go with gifts, so like sweets. I've also gifted some people some gifts that need batteries and I feel like you kind of have to give the batteries too, don't you? So I need to go and get a couple of packs of batteries and just like random things like that just to finish my gifts off. And then I have a call, so we actually do need to go and smash this out. You guys, look how cute this wrapping paper is. If I hadn't already bought the one I got from TK Maxx, I so would have gotten this. Look. I know I said I hated the idea of it, but now I'm seeing one in person. I kind of get it. Oh, adorable. Again, if I hadn't bought the one that I got quite a while back, actually, from... Oh, my goodness. Look at this. From Home Sense. It was Emma Bridgewater. This is beautiful. This is what I needed. Maltesers. What have we got? Reindeers, mini reindeers, mini mint reindeers, and 10 Maltesers treats. Oh, like the actual teasers. I just want the reindeers, but I don't want the mint ones. These are mini... Or maybe I do want mini reindeers, actually, because I want to put them on top of cookies. So maybe mini is the way forward that's merry teaser oh so is this mint no that one is mint are they all mint hmm i guess so okay i'm home i literally ran in took my call and then the treadmill delivery people have just arrived so they basically set it all up for me which is the dream and i'm just kind of like leaving them to it but it was one of those like manic 10 minutes where i like ran into the house hopped on my call and like finishing up my call they're calling me they're at the door i'm like oh my gosh but i got some bits because i want to make like a little hot chocolate station and i actually did not have any hot chocolate so i got some more of this, which I love. Some mini marshmallows. I got these biscuits. They are, they are like mini stars. I think they're like a biscuity cake. I don't know, I could be wrong. And then the hot chocolate that I opted for was the Twinings one. However, I know people are very particular with their hot chocolates. So I also got some of the minis. When I was younger, I used to think these were so insanely exciting. So I just think these are nice to have. And then I got some Maltesers reindeers. I got a Kit Kat. Is this Santa? Yes. And then I also got some syrups because I feel like that's a very hot chocolatey thing. And then just some milk. I also think I'm going to start drinking milk milk again in my coffee and not oat milk. And you know the only reason for this? So this is pathetic. I should not be letting this change my mind. But someone said the other day, they're like, you do realize when you're drinking oat milk, you're just drinking soggy oat juice. And since hearing that, I don't know what it is about the phrase soggy oat juice. I can't. Like, I can't. So we'll see. If not, I'll go back to soy. What? a morning oh my goodness it's literally midday and i've had so many people in and out of this house i have ticked off so many things and i feel like oh no now i've made it inside out and now i can finally talk to you so the treadmill is in and i am over the moon it looks so good in the room and i just can't wait to get using it i need to like set it up and everything uh like join the wi-fi get to grips with using it cody loved the delivery men they were so you know what so so nice i always really appreciate it when especially men like delivery men go the extra mile to make me feel comfortable and not like uneasy that they're in my home and they were just so nice and i don't know maybe i'm overthinking it but they really made me feel so comfortable but now he's all hyped up because they've been people in and out of the house so it's official the gym is now actually a gym because i have my treadmill the delivery men did offer to set everything up because i had like a full-on delivery installation booked and in the end I was like can you just kind of talk me through it because I wanted to show you guys I stood there and I was like this is so kind of him and like obviously what they're supposed to do but at the same time I'm like I kind of want to show them so I am basically at the start with everything I have filled like the wi-fi in I've logged in but that's literally it so this is the Nordic track 2450 and basically it has this program called iFit so you can do programs I not right now, but I am really keen to learn to run. It's something I've never been able to do, so I'm going to set myself the goal of my resolutions is going to be to do one of the programs. But for now, I shall be sticking with my 12 330, and this was another one of the reasons 
why I love this particular model of treadmill because the incline goes up to 12 and obviously that's great for doing my incline walks. It also goes up to 19 kilometers an hour, which is so good. I mean, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm so happy and I can't wait now to, like now it's in the space and I can see what it looks like. I can't wait to start like building the gym around it. It's also foldable, which is amazing. I'll show you, but I hope you enjoyed the grand reveal. We need to set it up and then I will give it a go. But, oh, there's a fan on it. So obviously I had the whole like installation talk through and he was like, do you know what the best feature of this particular model is? I was like, well, isn't there, isn't there a ton? And he laughed and he was like, yes, but this and clicked it and the fan came on. And he was like, this is why this is the best model. And it just made me laugh so much, but I am over the moon. Like I can't believe it's in. That's such a big tick for me. I genuinely do not need a gym membership anymore. I can do everything I want to do from this one room and it feels wonderful. The plan is to have a ballet bar put on this wall, I think, and then have this whole wall mirrored. That way I can see myself when I'm on the treadmill and I can have my mat, my like yoga mat across here and I can have my ballet bar here. The yoga mat will fit this way and this way. And I just feel like that would probably be the most sensible way to do it with this room. I don't know, but I'm completely open to suggestions. If you look at this and you're like, no, you have to do it this way, please let me know because I, again, so open, but yeah, let's, let's set it up. He did show me how to do this, by the way, and he did offer to do it for me, but I was like, I kind of want to do it with them on the floor. So he showed me basically step by step how to do everything. And then I was like, okay, thanks. So I need to activate my membership. But look, you can do a walk in Mexico. Like, I really want to do some of these crazy, like, look, Yosemite Falls Part 1, incline intervals. See, I feel like this is the type of thing that's going to encourage me to keep moving. Oh my goodness. I do think, though, just being completely realistic, I am going to start with the hikes. I <laughs> look, turkey trot challenge. I love that. What else do we have? Echo Lake endurance hike. Body weight strength an endurance hike. I feel like this is so my vibe. I really want to do some of the really scenic hikes and walks. Pyramids walk. What the heck? Oh, this is so exciting. As much as I feel super safe walking out and about with Cody in the evenings when it's like dusky, I definitely am happy to now have the option to not go out in the evenings. I think it would just mean I'll like switch my day around a little and make sure I walk Cody in the morning and then probably at lunchtime as opposed to like, you know, morning and evening. I think for like safety, it's just nice to know that I can get some movement in without leaving the house. And it's also so efficient. Oh my goodness. The days when I lived in that flat and strap like this time last year when I would wake up at 6 30 I would do my bar I would do like a cool down walk on the treadmill and within like an hour an hour and 20 minutes I had like all my movement into the day that I needed and I could just couch potato myself like with my laptop and I would get so much done but I'd like done my movement for the day so I, it was like oh you know I'm not being like super stagnant, but my kind of fitness and health goals right now are just to be consistently active and keep moving. And I really do think this is going to help. But guess what I need to do today? I need to pack. I have my suitcase here uh, because I'm going home tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm going home for Christmas. I mean, I'm coming back, but I'm going home for Christmas tomorrow for the first time. And I haven't been home since they've had the decorations up. So I'm so excited to go in and for it to feel all familiar and homely and warm and lovely like I genuinely cannot wait so I need to pack at some point as well but honestly this house has just been a bit chaotic today but I've managed to get a ton of things done I hope you had a good day how was your day let me know in the comments or if you've had a good day just give this video a like and then I'll know that's what you mean I'm gonna go home for the night and I have so many Christmas presents to distribute I have so many people that I would like to see and I just want to spend some time with my family and this happens to be the gap that I have to make it happen so yeah I'm gonna fill my car with all my gifts and I'm gonna look like freaking Father Christmas on his sleigh and do do the whole like driving home for Christmas thing it's so surreal it really is so so surreal <laughs> that's not what I asked is it are you talking to me this is the dilemma that I have every time I pack a suitcase especially to go home because actually it's vlogmas so I'm definitely vlogging so maybe I will but I always pack a bag of makeup and then I never bother putting it on but I feel like because I'm vlogging I probably will so my a lot of my skincare is actually 
already packed, but this is my makeup bag. I just realized that I actually use a smaller makeup bag than skincare bag. That's so funny. I feel like that's that's growing up. <laughs> that is that is being grown. So I need to pack these. But am I gonna put makeup on tomorrow morning? Probably. So I'll just have these out for now and then I can pack them tomorrow morning once I am dressed. I'm excited. I can't wait to go home. I've been texting everyone that I'm planning to do things with and I'm just really, really excited. These are the parts of Christmas that I do think are really special. The bits that give you butterflies. And you know what? It's always spending time with other people. It's it's so funny, isn't it? Are you excited to go and see Granny? I have a list of things that I need to get done before I leave tomorrow. And one of the things is changing the sheets in my bed. But I really want to put the same sheets back on because I actually just love how this looks. I love the green stripe with the red quilt. So I need to just get up and get them washed. I never put the same sheets back on. I have like a couple that I rotate between. So I don't know if they'll be fully dry in time because I'm obviously on a bit of a time crunch because I'm driving home. But what I'm gonna try and do is miss the morning traffic because I do have things to do in the morning. I want to make sure like my house is immaculate. And then I feel like who's gonna be leaving London in the middle of the day? There shouldn't be anyone. I feel like it'll be more efficient to go around midday rather than leaving early, early. Poor. Good boy. Are the poor? Good boy. I was editing the other day and I saw this get in the corner. I thought it must be really funny if you're one of these people and you happen to watch my vlogs and you just see yourself from like five years ago. I wonder if any of them have watched it. Uh, that's just, it's so funny to me. Where am, can you see me? I don't know if it's cut me off. Oh no, I'm here. Look, how exciting. But I've decided before I get into the thick of packing, I, the thick of packing, I'm going for a night. I <laughs> am gonna go and walk my little man. And I'm really thirsty actually, so I might grab like a coffee and just, yeah, coffee and a wonder and then come back and we'll pack. I do have a couple more presents to wrap before I leave. And you know what? I'm starting to feel like really, really on top of things. It's a really, really nice feeling. And like, I feel like it's when you get to this point where you're like, okay, I'm done. You can start to get really excited about Christmas and like the festive season. I mean, I still have so many Christmassy fun things that I'm doing with my friends. A lot of the things that we're all doing together, we're doing closer to Christmas just because everyone's at work. So I still got so many fun things to come. And I can't, I can't wait. I'm just feeling so full of gratitude and joy right now. I think I'm just really excited as well to go and see my family. But I am going to be living in this set for the foreseeable. It's so comfortable. We're back from my walk. And what do you think to my little hot chocolate station? I'm so proud of it. Basically, I just thought this would be a really cute setup. I saw people doing it on TikTok and I was like, I would like one of those. So this is how it's looking. I think it's so cute, especially with the little touch lamp from Amazon. I think it's so cute. I've got my scales, got my grandma's, just some mugs. And then in here, I actually just rolled up some tea towels because you know me, I spill absolutely everything. And then just, yeah, like little knickknacks, bits and bobs, and then my Christmas sign, which was also Amazon. This is one of my favorite things that I've purchased this year. And then just the little hot chocolate bits that I got earlier from Sainsbury's. I've got like the mini sachets in there. I've got my syrup, and then, yeah, obviously my hot chocolate powder and my marshmallows, but they're over there because I was just taking a photo of them. But the one thing that I bought that I didn't actually put in my hot chocolate station was these. I thought we could try them. But this evening, I thought, oh, they have chocolate on. This is not what I was expecting. Mmm. Mmm. Iced and sugar glazed mini cakes with seasonal spices dipped in dark chocolate. I mean, that description kind of hits the nail on the head. It's like a cake with a sugary glaze over it with chocolate on the bottom. Like, literally, that's what it is. <laughs> But tonight, I thought we would do some baking. I really want to take something to my parents' house. I don't know what I actually, I mean, I have chocolate in the pantry. I have, I mean, I have everything to make cookies. I did want to do some form of brownie, really, but I don't know. Like, I'm never that successful with brownies. I feel like I never let them cool for long enough, so they never quite go to plan. But I have everything to make brownies. I could do that. Or you know what I could do? I could do some stuffed cookies. So basically I'm trying to make sure I'm like getting through all of my spreads. And I have this one here, which is like a chocolate spread. And then I have the hazelnut cream. So what I might do is dollop some of those onto a baking sheet and then put it in the freezer. I'll make some cookie dough up and then I can stuff the cookies. I think that sounds quite fun. And also it'd be nice to actually use my freezer now it's been fixed. 
I actually don't know if this one's been opened. No, it hasn't. I don't even remember where I got this from. Oh, so I'm thinking we just do like a little dollop of the chocolate and a little dollop of the hazelnut and then I'll smooth it down a little bit and then they could freeze together and we'll pop them inside the cookies. I never do stuffed cookies as well, so they won't be expecting it. Although it does feel like I should do something a little bit more festive. Maybe I'll do half the dough with this and do chocolate hazelnut in half and then in the other half I'll do like a spiced cookie. I'm wondering if there's somewhere I can like put apple sauce in it, but... I feel like maybe that's not the vibe. And then some hazelnut. Okay, and the freezer they go. Now, this is the most simple cookie recipe ever. I'm not here to make your life difficult, and I'm certainly not here to make my own life difficult. I love the type of baking where it's like fail safe. I like to know if I'm going to bake something, it's going to work. So with this recipe, you literally can do it all in a scan mixer which is so handy so i'm going to do 100 grams of butter oh no i've got other butter to bake with wait wait oh this is kind of perfect because this butter goes off in literally a week but not the butter really can go off can it so we need 100 grams and i am just gonna let this cream for a little bit first otherwise it will uh, be rock solid because who has time to let their butter come to room temperature certainly not me okay Okay, I'm going to add the sugar. So I really like to use soft light brown sugar in cookies. I It makes me cringe when I see cookies with caster sugar because they just look so pale. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I've never tried it with dark brown sugar, but I just think this is like the perfect balance. I really love that kind of deeper flavor. It's like, it's not nutty, but it is like slightly nutty, if you know what I mean. And then I'm just gonna cream those together. Next up, we need 175 grams of self-raising flour. I'm using this one from Shipton Mill. Just adding a little pinch of salt. And then it's two dessert spoons of golden syrup. I mean, I have a, no, sorry, it's two tablespoons. I have a dessert spoon here, so I'm just doing, and there. Feel it out, feel it out. <laughs> and then I am going to do some chocolate chips. Not too many, because we're obviously going to stuff them. But I'm just going to do like a couple handfuls and then I'm also going to chop up some of this pump street chocolate. This is the good stuff. If you want good milk chocolate, oh, it's so good and you can buy it in bulk for baking. Just for luck. Oh, it looks so good. And that's how you make the most perfect cookie dough. I'm just going to mix it together with a spoon to pull it all together. And... I'm wondering if we should wait until the morning to bake them because they'll be fresher. And dough that's been rested overnight in the fridge just always tastes so much better. So what I think I might do is portion it out now, we'll stuff them, and then we'll put them on a baking tray in the fridge, and then we can pull them out in the morning and just pop them in the oven. So I just weighed out five of the cookies. They are 50 grams each, and then I've just put the rest of the mix back into my KitchenAid. And I'm just gonna sprinkle over some mixed spices just to make it taste a little bit um, like festive. Perfect, let's try it. Mm, perfect. And I'm just gonna weigh out three balls of 70 grams. And these are gonna be slightly larger, but it will kind of even out when I stuff the 50 gram ones with the filling. So I've got my little silpat sheet. I'm going to pop this on my tray and then we'll do the spiced ones together and I'm going to flatten them down slightly because they're going to go in the fridge. Perfect. Here we have our frozen, semi-frozen, could be more frozen but I don't want to wait any longer. So what I'm doing is just making a dent in the middle of the cookie and then placing the spread in and just moulding it around. Mm -mm -mm. And in the fridge they go. It's peppermint tea and present wrapping time. I have wrapped, as I said earlier, like a lot of people's presents, but there's just, in fact, there's another one upstairs that I need to grab as well. Uh, it's, for some reason, the people's presents that I bought first, I'm last to wrap. Uh, please tell me, like, why that is. I have no idea. My house is chaos. I love it, but it's chaos. My dog is also at my feet. Oh, wrapping paper would help, wouldn't it? So I wonder if you can guess whose present this is. <laughs> it's 
really obvious. I also have a couple of cards that I want to write now so I can distribute them on the way home. And then I'm actually just going to take the rest of the pack with me because I know what will happen. I'll get there. I'll give you know, everyone their cards that I've written and then suddenly it'll click that, what about this person? Or someone will be with someone, like, oh, have you got theirs? I can, I can give, I can give theirs to them if you want, if that helps. It's like, oh my God, have you written them one? So I shall be taking the whole pack. Oh no, it's so good. This is such a huge roll of paper. I think that's a skill they should teach you when you're younger, how to wrap a gift. If they taught us that at primary school, I feel like by the time we got to adult life and when, you know, gift giving was a real of importance, we'd all be really practiced at it and really good. Maybe that's, I feel like that's the type of thing you learn at like guides or at brownies. I went to brownies when I was younger. I actually went to guides as well, but I don't necessarily think I had like the most traditional experience with those things. It was a bit chaotic. The real task when wrapping gifts is from the step you close it up and you can't access it anymore is remembering who it's for <laughs> and what it is. The amount of times I get in my wrapping flow, I wrap and then suddenly I stop and I'm like, wait, what was that? Oh, but I love that I've got cookies to take home to them. I actually haven't told my parents that I'm going home. I told everyone else, just not my parents. I know what will happen. My sister, my older sister will say to my mum, oh yeah, and then we're seeing Em. And then mum will be like, wait, what? And then she'll be like, you don't know? And then I'll get a text being like, um... Or I could just text them and tell them right now, that's what I should probably do. And then, this should be the perfect amount. Oh, it's literal perfection. Stop it. I love a nice square box to wrap. Oh yes. So neat, so neat. I think this is the first year that I've got Sophie like beauty and gift sets that she's actually asked for or wanted. But like, if I've ever got gifted her a gift set in the past, it's always been something that I've been like, oh, I think she'll like this. But she's never really like wanted for it, if you know what I mean. Whereas this year, she's very much like, ooh, drunk elephant. And I know she'll like the Laneige lip mask as well. I think Sophie's at the, at the perfect age, actually, to do a Florida trip. Like, I think she would just be, like, enamored by everything. I mean, we went, gosh, it must have been four years ago now. And she had that insane, like, Florida experience of, oh, my goodness, is this real? But she didn't have that, like, association of, like, Bath and Body Works or, you know, any of the bits in Sephora. We went to Sephora in Barcelona and she was just, like, blown away. So I do really want to take her to America at some point. I also need to figure a way to transport these. I need like a present bag. I need a sack. <laughs> okay, right, I'm going to smash through these. So, oh, I can't take a suitcase home for one night, can I? I can, I can, I shouldn't but I can. So I've come to the conclusion that I am going to take a suitcase, but I'm going to take my small Ramoa. And reason being, there's like a 20% chance that I may come back on the train. And it's it's not likely, but just in case I do decide, uh, I obviously need to be able to like transport my things back with me. And it's going to be so much easier in one suitcase than like five different bags. Oh, Cody, are you feeling festive? I might actually bring my Disney suitcase to transport presents. Actually, I could use my... Where is my small Ramoa? Ah, it's downstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna use the one size up. Come out, sweetie. Good boy. I needed that other one anyway, so it wasn't a pointless exercise. Oh, it's already in here. I guess I moved it so the treadmill men could put the treadmill in there. One of the coolest things of having all my stuff laid out in front of me in like drawers is that I can see when I have multiples. So there's certain things that I like wouldn't normally pack until the morning, but I can because I have multiples of them. It's such like a, a small thing, but it makes such a difference. Like my, I mean, to be honest, oh my gosh, this is nearly empty. Yes, we can pack that. I've got cleanser, I've got moisturiser, I need a face halo. That's what is missing. Hmm, I've got a new one out, but I don't know where to put it. Ah, 
when I went to wilderness, I didn't take a face halo with me. And I got there and I was like, oh my gosh. Because I wear the most stubborn waterproof mascara. So getting that off is just an absolute nightmare. Don't need lip balm, eye cream. I'm gonna take this Estee Lauder one. Uh, serum, I'm going to take my L'Oreal. All of my like really thick skincare, like mask type moisturizers are upstairs. I would normally travel with my jet lag mask, to be honest. Here we go. We'll do the Elemis Superfood Night Cream Probiotic Night Treatment. And I'm pretty happy with that. I just need to make sure I have my hair brush in, but I think I will wash my hair before bed tonight. I, mm, I always do this and I'm like, do I wait until I work out in the morning? And then washing my hair in the day just takes up so much time. Fine. And then let's do the SPF 50. And then I shall pack my makeup in the morning once I'm ready, but this can go in. Clothing wise, I intend on living in leggings and fine jacket. I might actually just wear this exact outfit. Maybe not in the day. Maybe I might just wear this. No, I can't wear this again. <laughs> I'm going to pack a pair of jeans for just, just in case. I mean, I don't know in what emergency it would be appropriate to wear a pair of light denim jeans, but apparently in my head, it's what we pack for emergencies. I don't even know what I have at their house. So I'm like, oh my goodness, what do I actually pack? I am going to take some, oh, what am I gonna wear tomorrow? I'm going to take some leggings and a sports bra just in case I end up wanting to travel back in that. Uh, what shall we do? Should we do green? Yeah, let's take the olive green. And then with that, I'm going to take my bone defined jacket. Or am I? No, I'm not I'm gonna take a hoodie, it's hoodie weather. I'm not gonna be that cruel to myself. And jumper of choice is my newest sweatshirt to the collection. I got this maybe two months ago. And it matches with the jeans as well, which is perfect. I think it might be like a Vans or Converse kind of weekend. <laughs> my favorite. Okay, so I've got pajamas, leggings, sports bra, jumper, jeans, t-shirt, Oh, no, I don't need a toothbrush, that's fine. I cannot travel anywhere without my other blanket. My friends will laugh at me. I've traveled so much in like my early 20s and late teens that I always just loved having something that made me feel like I was at home when I went to sleep. And yeah, it's always been that other blanket. My first ever other blanket, my managers actually bought for me, Laura and Millie, uh, for Christmas one year. And it was so random. I actually ran into my old manager, Millie. Maybe it was literally just after I'd found out that Craig was leaving and I was walking in somewhere and she was walking out. We both kind of stopped on the track and she went, oh my gosh, Emily. And like, she then she immediately went, Craig. And I was like, yeah. She was like, I know, he told me. Like it is, I don't know, it was a really funny moment. You know, those fate moments where like, I hadn't seen her in years. And it was like, oh, I'm about to have this big change in my life. And I just ran into someone that used to be in his position like five years ago. And uh, weird, really strange, but I took it as a really like good sign. I don't know what else I need. I just want to be comfy and cozy really. Okay, I'm packed. I have just tidied the house. I've just spent the last probably actually 45 minutes just tidying everything up. I filmed a lot today which is why I was a bit MIA so there was just stuff everywhere so I was just getting all of that sorted oh maybe I put my hat up tomorrow I haven't done a ponytail in a while but that's not very comfortable to travel with is it but yes I'm packed I'm gonna go and do my skincare routine have a lovely shower and then I will be up bright and early in the morning for us to drive home for Christmas which is kind of wild that we're at this point already it's exciting and I can't wait to see my family see my little sister and you know bring the gifts but thank you so much for watching today's vlogmas if you did enjoy it please give it a massive thumbs up and i'll see you bright and early in the morning good night